Hello friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I will make unboxing and a review for this uh, digital lab bench power supply 50 volts 5 amps. Let's unpack this. I have to say that it's a very very good packing and uh, arrived very very fast, one week, just one week after I put the order. These are the cables. The cables look like very 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 cheap cables, but we'll test. This is the module, it's compact, has uh, interface for Bluetooth and uh, USB Type-C. I didn't buy, but now I am thinking to buy another one with uh, digital interface. These are the banana plug, power button, encoder, screen. So let's test it. This one gives us uh, 50 volts at 5 amps and requires a power supply that gives uh, 55 volts to 5 amps. I ordered uh, 48 volts power supply in the same time with this module, but the power supply didn't arrive yet. And that's why I will use for test this uh, 36 volts 5 amps power supply that I bought for lab bench power supplies like this. So Let's see how it works. This is a plus and minus. Let's power. As you can see, this is the main screen, this is the power button and this is the on-off voltage. This is the menu, here is the input voltage, it's 36 volts. Now, let's go back to the output. Let's see what's the maximum voltage that this power supply can give us with 36 volts. So, let's go to the voltage set. Thirty three volts. There is there are three volts difference between input and the maximum output voltage. Now let's see the menu. So this is the voltage set, current set, power set, and the on off. This is the memory settings and the lock. We can uh, put in memory some settings, voltage 
and the current. Now let's see the menu. Now the menu is in Chinese. Let's This should be, yes, now the menu is in uh, English, also has a visual display for uh, voltage and current, let's see this wave. Now we can see the voltage and the current. Voltage is 33 volts. Now the current is 0 amps. Let's put some uh, load. But before I put the load, I should limit the current data, current, let's put the current to 1 amp limit. So 33 volts output and 1 amp. output Oops. as you can see there is a drop of voltage only 0 0.4 volts and 1 amp now let's go back to the display and here is the voltage and the current but I don't know how to change let's try this yes this is this is the current scale and this is the voltage voltage scale but I can't see the voltage here I have to let's increase the current Now we have uh, 2 amps and I have to change the scale for no no that's not what I want now one amp and instead of 15 volts we'll make as you can now you can see the voltage with green so 2.3 
volts and 2 amps on this load. Now let's go to the 4 amps. to the 4 amps we can see we have 8 volts and 4 amps now let's make let's check this uh, cable let's go back to the and now let's check this cable if they are good quality or not let's check the voltage here First, voltage, voltage. So eight point two volts. Okay. Now let's measure here. That's uh, 7.9. There's only 0 0.3 drop of voltage on this cable. They are not uh, so bad as I expected because uh, it's very easy to bend. They are medium quality for big current. Sometimes I bought a very very cheap cable from China and uh, they have uh, 2 or 3 volts drop of voltage and more than 2 or 3 amps. These are very very good. Now this uh, cuts the output voltage. And now Let's check on this dummy load. Oh, the, there is too much. 33 volts and uh, 4 amps is too much power for this dummy load. It has only 100 watts. So I have to lower the current. 3 amps. now that's good we have only 45 watts power dissipated on this dummy load let's check if uh, this is warm it's not warm it's good you can see it's very stable there's only small uh, fluctuations it's very very stable on this power I have to say that I am very excited with this module because it was uh, very cheap 
was only 25 USD something like this and uh, I will make a digital power supply with this this only needs a case and a supply like that let's check it's not very warm so I will, with this I will make a digital power supply for me I will make a small uh, case and uh, I just have to wait that uh, 48 volts power supply to arrive I hope that you like this review please uh, write a comment if you have questions please like and subscribe if you find it helpful i see you in my next video